Good afternoon. Good afternoon again. Before we begin, before we begin, I would like to remind you all of a few important courtesies. Please silence all cell phones and electronic devices as we, as everyone here is waiting to hear the names of the other graduates. Please refrain from using any type of noise maker during speeches and also introductions of the graduates. We thank you for your support of the accomplishments of these graduates on this momentous occasion. As Waco High School principal, I am honored to be at this celebration in which we bestow the title of graduates on our youth who have persevered through challenges of life and impediments in society. There is a tangible, well-deserved sense of lion pride today. Please stand for the presentation of the colors by the Waco High School Junior ROTC Color Guard and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem led by Emily Hines, Coe Maddox, and Ash Ashley Riggs, Alyssa Riggs, I'm sorry. Members of the Waco High School Chamber Choir Den, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Senior Class Vice President, Jonisha Andrews. And now the flag, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for which it's leading justice for all. God bless. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to present to you Waco High School's 2018 Senior Class President, Kanisha Hewitt, who will deliver the welcome address. Kanisha. Hello, everyone. I am Kanisha Hewitt. And at this time, I would like to introduce our Senior Class Officers. Historian Julissa Mendez, 
Treasurer, Kaylin Fuentes. Secretary, Amaya Martinez. And our Vice President, Janisha Andrews. For, first and foremost, I would like to thank God for giving me this opportunity to stand in front of you all today. And I ask that he gives me the strength <laughs> to withstand the troubles of these painful hills. I also would like to thank my, I would also would like to thank my parents, Tanisha and Kenneth Hewitt, for being my backbone that I needed throughout this trying school year and pointing me in the right direction, even when I was too stubborn to listen. Now that I got that out of the way, I would like to send a few thank yous to our Board of Trustees, faculty and staff of both Waco High and WISD for providing a wonderful educational experience. Thank you to our proactive superintendent, Dr. Marcus Nelson, for showing his undeniable support and being a part of every activity and academic success. Thank you all to our principals for all the love and support and small and large gestures. And I want to give a special thanks to my principal, Mr. Ed Love. <laughs> for not only leading us in education, but making the best hot dogs and links our senior class has ever had. <laughs> and let me not forget about the families of our graduates who too have seen us through every obstacle and ask that they join us in this joyous occasion. Because without them, there will be no us. Thank you to the educators and counselors for guidance whenever we feel lost. We really appreciate the sincerity each of you has shown us. And we just want you to know that it really means a lot. Year after year, you all make a difference to the lives of children by pushing us to become mature young adults with bright futures and careers. Your contributions are cherished and we will forever pay homage to you. Now seniors, remember as freshmen, we all went into high school being a little fish in a big pond, waiting for the day to be sharks. Now, as we enter a new phase in our lives, we are no longer little fish, but guppies. Not in a pond, but a very salty ocean. One thing noted about guppies is that they love tropical waters. This means, classmates, that we will have the chance to enjoy a warm, comfortable climate with no troubles and pain. But remember, there is always a hurricane season. There will be trials and tribulations we all must face, but they will not last forever. Seasons are just that, seasonal and temporary. Remember, you are fish, so you will not drown. And as Dory says, just keep swimming. Another characteristic of guppies is that they eat mosquito larvae, which helps fight malaria. This conveys that we shall all contribute to making the world around us a better place. If we have to fight diseases and rage war against evil, then that's what we will do. We have already started to create our own waves in the ocean. For example, we have the first person graduating with an associate's degree in the history of Waco ISD. And overall, seniors have accumulated 1,900 dual credit hours and have an average percent of 85% college acceptance rate, as well as UIL state qualifiers in both sports and academics. We are all a part of the same school of fish with different shapes and colors. We are all unique and powerful and bright in our own way. We do not need the other species in the ocean to tell us and define us who we are. We will make our own waves and create our own tsunamis because our line of pride will continue to run deep until it reaches the bottom of the ocean. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Kanisha, very good. First of all, welcome parents, teachers, friends, and relatives, and also, and also members of the Waco High School class of 2018 to this 31st commencement exercise of Waco High School since consolidation. This evening, we are very pleased to have the following 
distinguished guests on stage. First of all, Waco ISD Superintendent, Dr. Marcus Nelson. <laughs> President, Board of, Board of Trustees, Mr. Pat Atkins. <laughs> Vice President, Mr. Alan Sykes. <laughs> Secretary, Mr. Norman Manning. Board members also include Mr. Kerry Dupree, Ms. Stephanie Quarterweg, and Mr. Larry Perez. Additionally, we have assistant superintendents. First, Ms. Grace Benson. Elaine Botello, Israel Correa, Carrera, I'm sorry, Dr. Scott McClanahan, Dr. Robin McDurham, and Yolanda Williams. Also, we have Chief Technology Officer Darvis Griffin, the Executive Director of Communications, Mr. Kyle Dubier, Director of Peens and Counseling, Ms. Tiffany Summerfield. Assisting with our ceremony this afternoon are also our wonderful counselors. Our lead counselor, Ms. Stephanie Isbell. Our senior counselor, Ms. Cindy, Cindy Cates. Our junior counselor, Maria Diaz. Sophomore, Lisa DeVoose. Freshman, Luana Otterburn. And college and career, Corey Grock. We also have from Brazos High School, Jennifer Kuntz. Our senior English class dual credit teacher, Ms. Susan Giddings. and our administrative team, starting with our Dean of Academics and Instruction, Lisa Saxenian, <laughs> Assistant Principals, Donna Burgess, Dr. Francine Francis, Mr. Derek Smith, Mr. James Stewart, Ms. Elizabeth Velasco, and Mr. John Weeks. We also have many faculty and staff members here today, including our Teacher of the Year, Mr. Scott Taylor, and I would like at this time for all Waco High School teachers and staff members happen today to please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Thank you, Waco High faculty and, and staff for your dedication to our students. So at this time, I will call upon board president, Mr. Pat Atkins, to bring greetings from the board. I'm supposed to welcome everybody, but I gotta do something else first. Because it's something I don't think we do enough of, at least not publicly. You know, last year, I got to hand my diploma to my youngest child, and Sandy and I finished 12 years as parents at Waco High School. And in those 12 years, we've seen a lot of principals at this campus. I have never seen a principal who shows more interest in his students, 
more respect for his staff, better at establishing a culture of winning and high expectations, and working with parents. And so, Ed Love, I need you to know that you are the right man in the right place at the right time for Waco High School. No, and on behalf of, thank you. And on behalf of not only the administration and all the parents, but also these young people on the floor, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for Waco High School and all the young people in this community. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the Waco, High, Waco ISD administration, welcome to convocate for commencement exercises for the Waco High School class of 2018. I do want to pause and extend a special welcome to the Waco High School teachers and staff who have joined us here today. You need to know that all of us on this stage know that you are the key to educating our young people. We also know that more importantly, you have provided motivation and support for this particular group of seniors. So on behalf of all the parents here today, I just want again want to say thank you to the teachers and staff at Waco High School. <laughs> to the students, welcome and congratulations. And I know our superintendent wants to share some thoughts with you in just a moment. I do want to echo for our parents and family one thing uh, that Coach Love said at the beginning. This is an academic uh, event. And we know you want to celebrate, and we want you to celebrate, and we're proud of your students, but we do want to ensure that every family is able to hear their child's name when it's read. And so please refrain from using any noisemakers or air horns, uh, and please be particularly respectful when our students are up here speaking. And again, on behalf of the Wake OSD Board of Trustees, welcome, and we're glad you're here. And it's now my honor to introduce someone who in just one year has already transformed this entire district with four simple words. Hard work pays off. He's also been taking great pride in representing this district and events all over the community and has gone a long way towards reestablishing trust between the Waco Public Schools and all parts of the Waco community. And so at this time, it is my honor to introduce my friend and the superintendent of the Waco Independent School District, Dr. A. Marcus Nelson. Good afternoon. Bienvenidos a todos. We are... Hey, como se pueden dar cuenta por mi español? Me la estoy pasando muy bien aquí. <laughs> Our board president, Pat Atkins, honorable members of the school board, faculty, staff, and administration of the Waco High School, the family and friends who have joined us from all over the world, and to the men and women of the hour, the graduating class, of 2018 at Waco High School. You know, as I stand here before you as a proud superintendent, it's kind of overwhelming. I can remember for me, it was exactly one year ago today that I sat over here and I watched the graduating class of 2017. Just like this young man, is grad we had a graduate that walked in this, this afternoon, and when he stood here, he was like this. And I thought the same thing a year ago. Then I had an opportunity to walk the halls with Mr. Love. We went out to the field house in June, with no air condition. And I watched the football team and volleyball team getting ready for the fall. Then the band season came, and I went out and I watched the first band practice where the parents came to a meeting. That was in August, and we all know that Waco High School has one of the baddest bands in the land. Yeah. 
I met my man Caleb. Where's Caleb? Stand up, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb became uh, an employee of mine by cutting my grass every day. And uh, we went on to become good friends, and I look forward to seeing what he becomes. Then we started our year with the seasons. And I'm proud to report that I was able to, to watch you from a distance. I've seen you learning in our classrooms. I've watched you perform on our stages, on our fields, on our courts. And every moment with you, I know I speak for the staff and the faculty. It's been a, a privilege to watch you go through this educational experience. And everything that you've learned has been by design. You've learned to read. You've learned to write. You've learned something, though, in our curriculum that's hidden, something that's not necessarily written word for word. You've learned to appreciate hard work. See, as proud as we are of you here today, make no mistakes about it, there are classmates of yours that did not make it. They were unable or unwilling to meet the standards that have been set by the state of Texas to graduate in a public school in Texas. But no, you did it. You passed all the tests. There's a student here, some of you graduates probably don't even know her. Her name is Brooke Hoover. Where is Brooke Hoover? Stand up, Brooke. Brooke Hoover, she don't want me to say it. A lot of you don't know her. You want to know why you don't know her? Because she's 25 years old and she took the star test 13 times just to graduate from high school. See, standing here as a graduate, sitting here before you today with your family and friends, we've come to celebrate you. But make no mistakes about it, a commencement is not only the celebration of an ending. Yes, you've been to school for 12 years. Yes, you've worked hard, you've enjoyed it. But now the hard work begins. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something you probably already know. If you don't know, hear it from me. Life is hard. There is no paved highway. There's no smooth sailing to whatever it is you want to become. But I'll tell you this. The education that you have received from the Waco Independent School District. What it means when we say lion pride runs deep. What that means is that for the rest of your life, you have been prepared to compete. I will leave you with an African American proverb. This proverb goes back to the jungles of Africa. In Africa, they say, a lion wakes up in the morning, and the lion knows that all they've got to do to survive is catch one antelope each day in order to live. Likewise, antelopes wake up in the morning and they know that in order to survive, all they got to do is outrun the lions. The moral of the story is, whether you're an antelope or, in your case, a lion, when the sun comes up tomorrow morning, you better be running. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2018, Waco. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Nelson.
Okay, now I am pleased to recognize the top 5% of this graduating class. Students, please stand when I call your name. Rank number one, Sarah Jean Sharon. She's, she's the daughter of Diane and Robbie Sharon. Number two, Tansy Dawn Ackerman. She's the daughter of Cresslin and Judd Sanders. Number three is Dylan Marcus Rivera, son of Gloria and Sabas Rivera. Number four, Samayam Michelle Davis. She's the daughter of Beverly and Nika Davis. Number five, Shelby Arlene Ruggles. Daughter of Shay and Albert Ruggers Sr. Number six, Enrique Perez. Son of Estella and Federico Perez. Number seven, Emily Catherine Hines. Daughter of Amy Hines and Larry Hines. Number eight is Rochelle Celise Perez. Daughter of Francis Lassiter and Ricardo Perez. Number nine, Kaylee Lauren Abels. Daughter of Jennifer and Joshua Abels. Number 10 is actually Tanner Joseph Haney. He was not able to attend today. He is in British Columbia in a college summer league baseball program. So we do congratulate him today as well. Number 11 is Catherine Ellender Ellie Chase, daughter of Kara and George Chase. Number 12, Kylie Elizabeth Burnham, daughter of Nora and Runson Burnham. Number 13 is Julian Ross Nicholson. He's the son of Stephanie Nicholson. Number 14 is Josue Morales, son of Silva and Juan Morales. Number 15 is Alexandria Lexi Grace Fields. She's the daughter of Marilyn and William Fields. Number 16 is Jose Luis Vallejo. He's the son of Jacqueline and Luis Vallejo. Number 17 is Griselda Lazette Romero. She's the, she's the daughter of Maria and Marcus Romero. Number 18 is Kanisha Sharia Hewitt. She's, she's the daughter of Tanisha and Kenneth Hewitt. Number 19 is Maria Sarahi Bersino. She's, she's the daughter of Margarita Ortega. And number 20 is Ecclesia Salinas Velasco. She is the daughter of Elizabeth and Hami Velasco. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for our Waco High School Honor Graduates Top 10 Class of 2018. Waco High, we are very proud of our academic achievement demonstrated by our entire class of 2018. Many of our students have earned valuable scholarships for higher education and awards. As of today, over 2.8 million has been awarded to this class in scholarship. And I think that deserves another round of applause. Okay, our first speaker from the class of 2018 today, this afternoon, is, is the graduate ranked second highest in the 2018 senior class. She has been, she has had many successes in her four years at Waco High School. With a grade point average of 108.9306, 
The 2018 salutatorian is Tansy Dawn Ackerman. Mr. and Mrs. Sanders, will you, please, will you please stand at this time? Tansy is a three-year member of the National Honor Society, academic achiever, an AP scholar. She was active in Interact and UIL. She qualified for state level with informative speaking and regional with ready speaking, reading speaking. She, lead, she led the mock trial team to victory as its captain the last two years, plus was one of the debate teams. Tansy will be attending the University of Texas at Austin, studying rhetorics and writing. She also planned to become a lawyer. And I stand before you today to tell you, after watching her perform in our, de in our debate, on our debate team this year, I will hire her as soon as she get her degree. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 salutatorian, Tansy Dawn Ackerman. I would like to thank my family and my friends for always believing in and supporting me. I would also like to thank the school board and the entire staff of Waco High for making these last four years possible with a very special thank you to Mr. Love even though I've been beaten to the punch a couple times already today. I think that sometimes we don't realize how truly lucky we were to have had you as our principal the entire steps of our journey. You showed us what it was to be professional yet compassionate, and I think that is an example that we can all aspire to as we venture out into our adult lives and someday our professions. Now, to all the incoming freshmen in the audience, I know that sometimes the idea of high school can be daunting, but rest assured that you will be getting, in my very biased opinion, the best counselor at Waco High. I would not be standing here if it wasn't for Ms. Cates and all of the last minute schedule changes, recommendation letters, and good advice that she has given me. And I know that I'm not alone when I would think that. So I thank you, Ms. Cates, for all of the hard work that you've done to get us here today. Over the course of high school, I've written my, share, my fair share of speeches, but I've never been so happy or excited about writing one than I was about writing this one. I felt excited, relieved, and happy, because above all things, today is a day of celebration, as it should be for all graduates. Celebrating and feeling happy on graduation day, however, is unfortunately becoming a privilege in this country. The senior class of Parkland High School in Florida, Santa Fe High School in our home state, and so many more have not been celebrating this past week. For them, this time that should be filled with pride, excitement, and hope is instead shrouded in despair and mourning. So today, I encourage all of you to lift the victims, their families, and seniors from those high schools high in your hearts, because not all graduating classes this year have been as lucky as ours. And I hope and I pray that as we become the voters and the lawmakers in this country, that we put an end to our nation's shame and that the graduations of the generations after ours do not follow the same horrors that have incessantly occurred over the past decade. <laughs> Looking back now, it's hard to believe, but four years ago when I entered Waco High as a freshman, I wanted to be a pharmacist. But then I took some weird class called Mock Trial my mom had made me sign up for, and that, along with the help of Mr. Petrie's chemistry class, made me realize that the only thing that I could ever be was a lawyer. And I know that we've all had similar realizations. In some way or another, we've all learned more about who we are and gotten closer to whom we want to become. And that's what we'll remember most when we look back on high school. So, to the graduating class of 2018, whether you're going straight into the workforce, taking time to figure things out, joining the armed forces, or going to college, I wish you the best of luck. Do what you love, 
always be kind, and never forget where you came from. Thank you, and hook them. All right, thank you, Tansy, for being such a leader in and out the classroom. Now we will recognize a graduate with the highest grade point average of the 2018 class. With a grade point average of 109.3593, the Valley Victorian is Sarah Jean Sharon. Mr. and Mrs. Sharon, would you please stand? And family members as well. <laughs> Sarah is also an AP scholar, a three-year academic achiever, and a three-year member of the National Honor Society, serving as its president this year. She was, she was ranked the number one female on the varsity tennis team for four years, plus a state qualifier for three years as a cross-examiner on the debate team. She served as an athletic trainer. Uh, Sarah also participated in UIL One Act Play and school musicals, and also participated in academic decathlon as well. She volunteers at Cameron Park Zoo, the Dr. Pepper Museum, and she also teaches at the Waco Regional Junior Tennis Team. This fall, Sarah plans to attend Texas A&M as a Terry Scholar and a member of the Business Honors Program in the Mays Business School. In addition, Sarah has been accepted to the veterinari veterinarian enrichment program at Texas A&M. Ladies and gentlemen, please recognize our valedictorian for the 2018, Sarah Jean Sharon. I'd like to welcome you all here this afternoon. The wonderful coaches, coaches, teachers, and administrators of Waco High, supportive friends from far and wide, accomplished soon-to-be graduates, and those who have constituted the backbone of our success, our loving families. I would not be standing here before you today if it wasn't for my answered prayers. And I give this all to God. I could not begin this speech without thanking the people in my life which have pushed me to perform to the best of my ability, standing with me through the ups and downs of senior year transformations into adulthood. Dad and mom, You've taught me the most important lessons in life, and I will carry them forever. From you, I've learned responsibility, endurance, commitment, and much more. I've also learned that life is too short to live without adventure. What do you mean by adventure, you may ask? Well, visualize the Sri Ram family teetering off the side of a cliff in Colorado after dad decided that our RV was mountain safe, or becoming stranded at an abandoned gas station in the middle of nowhere, Texas. While I never again wish to find myself in these situations, memories like these make the Sri Ram family who we are today. These road trips continually remind me of the, of, of the importance of the little things in life, which we can never take for granted. When we reach our destination, we all realize that the journey is what makes everything count. I would also like to thank my amazing grandparents. Grammy, your sense of selflessness will motivate me for years to come. Mima, from India to America, you and Papa have built the future for your family, and although I wish he could be here today, I know he is watching over all of us from up above. Grandpa and Nana, thank you for filling me with Aggie pride. P. 
People come and go every day, but family is constant. I have been gifted with not one, but two families, and I would like to thank the Herbert family for being my second. And now, I will share my appreciation for a man who tr truly cares for the students here at Waco High. Mr. Love, our principal, has far exceeded his ob the obligations of his career. Not only does he take the time to reward esteemed accomplishments and efforts, he uses his own free time to attend events such as tennis tournaments or even our CX debate state meet in Austin, Texas. Ms. Cates, thank you for being an amazing counselor for the past four years. I don't know how I could have navigated high school without you. Class of 20 to 18, here we are. We made it. We've been waiting for this moment since the day we first walked the halls of Waco High as naive freshmen. As an eighth grader, I remember Hannah, my older sister, warning me to avoid the hall lockers at all costs or the drug dealers would steal my lunch. Although Hannah was joking, of course, which I eventually found out, we all know it is no secret that Waco High can have a notorious reputation in the eyes of those unfamiliar with our student life. There is absolutely no way I would have ever chosen a school other than Waco High. This school has molded me to aim for the stars and it has provided me with the best of opportunity and friends. I'm sure the majority of our class will agree with me when I say we never take respect for granted. Waco High has sufficiently prepared us to leave, explore, and engage in the world around us. We're ready to give back to our society, to put our cultivated skills and knowledge to the test. But where do we begin? Are we prepared for the central goal of our past 14 years of education? Whether attending a four-year university, a community college, a trade school, or simply going straight into an occupation, each and every one of us has the potential to make a change. It is no secret that life can become overwhelming with the blink of an eye. Stress clouds your thoughts, emotions, and rationality. However, as Coach Pinoza once told me during an intense tennis match, all you have to do is calm down and take it point by point. Today's point, graduation, is a winning one. What strategy will you take to win the next? While many of you have a clear idea of, what your of your future work, others will find their path shortly. Not only does work allow you to give back to your community, it builds you as an individual. The Declaration of Independence states our unalienable, unalienable rights to be life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We as American citizens are guaranteed the opportunity to work hard, work hard enough to reach our idea of self-fulfillment. The ultimate outlet for human innovation and inter interaction, work, develops spontaneous solutions, enabling mankind to solve its most intriguing puzzles in a natural way. We can fulfill both our desires and needs through our own labor, increasing our overall sense of happiness with something called earned success. A professor of microbiology at the Texas A&M School of Veterinary Medicine once told me that there are three essential keys to happiness. All you need is something to do, something to look forward to, and something to love. Going into your future, pursue what you love and the rest will follow. Your happiness will not be determined by how much money you make or how expensive your belongings are. It will be determined by the quality of work you put in. As Benjamin Franklin once stated, money never made a man happy yet, nor will it. The more a man has, the more he wants. Instead of filling a vacuum, it makes one. Let's use our labor to accomplish what we wish others would. Let's build one another up with respect. Congrats, grads. Once a lion, always a lion. Thank you, Sarah, for your contribution and involvement while at Waco High School. 
Okay, ceremonies are an important part of all of our lives. And your exercise of commencement is a memorable event in your life. It is a time for celebration and a time for reflection on what has been and what is yet to come. It's also a time to recognize our achievements. The graduation regalia includes cords, which denotes memberships in the various co- and extracurricular programs at Waco High School. In addition, students inducted into the Waco High National Honor Society are wearing white colors with the blue emblems, and the top 10% of the class are wearing gold cords. Seniors, as we honor you, you must remember the people in your lives that give you the most support, and that's your families. And now, the moment that you guys have been waiting on. The, the presentation, the candidates, and diplomas. Awarding diplomas this afternoon will be board president, Mr. Pat Atkins, and members of the board. Will candidates for graduation please stand? Dr. Nelson, President Atkins, Brazos High School Assistant Principal uh, Jennifer Kuntz, would you please join me at the podium? You guys, please stand. <laughs> Dr. Nelson. Dr. Nelson, as principal of Waco High School, I certify that the students here have met the state and local requirements for graduation and are eligible to receive a diploma or have met the attendance requirement on the Senate Bill 673 and are eligible to receive a certificate of attendance. Dr. Nelson, I'm representing Brazos High School in lieu of Mrs. Lasherson's absence. I certify that the students here have met the state and local requirements for graduation and are eligible to receive a diploma or have met the attendance requirement under Senate Bill 673 and are eligible to receive a certificate of attendance. <clears throat> President Atkins, members of the Waco Independent Board of Trustees, as superintendent of the Waco Independent School District, and based on the recommendations of Principal Love and Assistant Principal Kuntz, I hereby certify that these students, having met the requirements set by the U.S. Department of Education, the State of Texas, the Texas Education Agency, and the Waco Independent School District policies, are eligible to receive their high school diploma or certificate of attendance. Dr. Nelson, on behalf of the Waco Independent School District Board of Trustees and the families and community we represent, I will accept the administration's recommendation and we will award certificates of attendance or high school diplomas to the Waco High School class of 2018. Congratulations. Graduates, you may be seated. Okay, seniors on the stage, please make your way to the stage entrance. First row graduates, please follow them in line. Announcing the names of our graduates this afternoon will be Ms. Susan Giddens, assisted by Mr. Cora Grock. Teachers and students at this time, prepare for awarding the diplomas. Sarah Jean Shriram. Tansy Dawn Ackerman. Dylan Marcus Rivera. Samayam Michelle Davis.
Shelby Arlene Ruggles. Enrique Perez. Emily Catherine Hines. Rachel Celeste Perez. Kaylee Lauren Abels. Catherine Ellender Chase. Kylie Elizabeth Burnham. Julian Ross Nicholson. Josue Morales. Alexandria Grace Field. Jose Luis Vallejo. Griselda Lizette Romero. Kanisha Hewitt. Maria Sarahi Brasino. Ecclesia Salinas Velasco. Janisha Andrews. Amaya Martinez. Caitlin Fuentes. Julissa Mendez. Alyssa Marie Riggs. Chloe Catherine Maddox. Myra Carmen Acosta. Rosalinda Aguado. Nicholas Rashawn Alexander. Demetrius Davion Allen. Daniel Almanza. Alicia Gabrielle Alonzo. Jessica Jasmine Alvarez. Yasmin Alvarez. Ebily Anaya. Kimberly Aurelia Andrade. Odalis Andrade. Diana Angel. Johanna Denise Araujo. Vanessa Del Rocio Araujo. 
Teresa Marie Arias. Adrian Aranaga. Grace Nicole Eights. John Charles Avila Ebanks. Olivia Jane Adelot. Teandre Deshawn Basie Sr. Alondra Barajas. Elena Marie Barajas. Juan Gabriel Barron. Rikadra Rike Bell Ben. Julie Benitez Ibarra. Jaden Bishop. Christopher James Edward Blake. Rakaja Ratavia Unique Bonnie. Gabriela Michelle Borja Diaz. Alexis Danielle Boswell. Marissa Lee Boteo. Marvin Ricardo Bateo. Janasia Ravion Lucky Brooks. Queen Tanisha Louise Brooks. Giuliane Oliveira Brown. Princel Brown. Reginald Durrell Brown. Quinesha Bryant. Stephen Burt. Arnaja Kamaria Burton. Caleb D. Bynum. Jonathan Cavithel. Daniel Campos. Joe Angel Carrera. Kyra Nicole Sahara Casey. Glenn Cashaw. Victor Salvador Castaneda Ranhel. Tony Ray Caulfield. Viani Nahomi Cazares. Elihu Centeno.
David Chavez. Rudolph Solis Chavez. Trey Lamond Cherry. Tyrell Keon Chrisman. Nicholas Sinfuegos. Taj Tenille Clark. Desiree Coleman. Edward Crawford Coleman, Jr. Diana Laura Contreras. Juan Manuel Contreras. Myra Alejandra Contreras. Denisha Lene Cooper. Jalen Dion Cormier. Eric Daniel Coronado Sanchez. Parisha D. Cox. Elijah Tyrese Crockett. Tyreek Devon Crosby. Samuel Cruz. Yesenia Cruz. Sabrina Daniels. Dylan Wayne Davis. Passion Unique Davis. Darren Keith Dawkins Jr. Titania Tashana Dawkins. Giselle Jacqueline De Hoyas Martinez. Francisco De La Fuenta. Quantisha Crystal Lachey Dean. Tamia Tene de Great. Fatima de Leon Medina. Jacob Daniel de Leon. John Alberto de Leon Celadon. Vanessa Delgado. Eric Diaz. Larissa Natalie Dominguez.
Keyshawn Dudley. Tiana Monet Ebron. Lakevia M. Edwards. Marissa Janae Irvin. Jose Escobedo. Miriam Jasmine Escobedo. Antonia Espinoza. Tony Padilla Espinoza. Julissa Marie Escada. Daniel Anthony Esquivel. Michael Essex. Shamion Markel Estes. Brian Armando Eusebio Garcia. Kevin Alexis Eusebio Garcia. James Earl Evans. Amelia Alexis Phelan. Katiana Feliciano. Amelia Marie Figueroa Quiones. Azalea Star Flores Salazar. Dananisha Lachey Franklin. Ramon Fragoso Jr. Juan Angel Galeazzi Perez. Fajan Gamble. Raymunda Gamiz. Andrea Garcia. Fabiana Cheyenne Garcia. Irene Christine Marie Garcia. Karen Guyton. Danico Antoine Gibson. Alexandra Grace Gill. Khalil Daquan Glasker. Stephanie Gomez. Andrew Anthony Gonzalez. Sonia Carolina Gonzalez. Caitlin Graham. Cody Lynn Graham. Jordan Michael Grant. Ooh. 
Mackenzie Dejanique Green. Michaela Shiana Green. Nicholas Greenwood. Gabriel Giovanni Griffin. Jaden Guajardo. Justin Germain Good. Abraham Jafet Guerrero. Edgar Guerrero. Jamion Brie Briel Guilford. Linda Gutierrez. Malaysia Kiana Hall. Antonio Hamilton. Terrence Lamont Hamilton, Jr. Journey Vinche Harden. Jalen Devon Harris. Imaria Danil Hatter. Zachary Dean Heldenbrand. Casey Michelle Helms. David Emmanuel Hernandez. Giovanni Hernandez. Chris Hernandez Hernandez. Gabriela Herrera. Brooke Hoover. Javion Huffman. Angelique Deshay Irvin. Charlotte Janae Jackson. Oh. Daryl Wayne Jackson. Kyra Lynn Jackson. Galilea Jaramillo Hernandez. Taro Joseph Johnson. Diarius Dion Curtis Jones.
Tijane Kiera Jordan. Daniela Juarez. Kendrika Marie Kelly. McKenna Arcasia Kendricks. Camry Deaven Kenny. Chance Baylor Kim. Ariana Dominique King. Scott Connor Keel. Caleb Wade Lackey. DeAndre Daquan Lang. Kevin Lara. Veronica Lara. Daryl Ray Larson. Marcus Allen Lassiter. Reagan Simone Lawrence. Alberto Lazaro. Dacaron Dante Lee. Jaden Christopher Lee. Jeremiah Simone Lee. Brandon Joshua Leha. Raven Shante Leonard. Connor Lane Leslie. Armantre Dwayne Lilly. Diavian Lilly. Grace Jataya Long. Sandra Lopez. Cameron Marcus Lord. Romeo Love. Julissa Lozano. Antonio Lovano. Xavier Santos Lujan. Alexia Michelle Luna. Elijah Mack. Damian Dwayne Magum. Yeah. 
Cielo Odette Marin. Devon Martinez. Frank Martinez. Joe Anthony Martinez. Kiana Giselle Martinez. Lisbeth Martinez. Cynthia Marisol Martinez Rodriguez. Shyandria Mathis. Tyler McKinney. Darion Lamar McLean. Michaela Brian McMullen. Dakota Lee McSherry. Antonio Medina. David Andres Mendoza. Amilizeth Milan. Riley Miller. Rainia Brinio Minor. Shailen Denise Minor. Sharon Detron Minter. Miranda Nicole Molina. Jose Effian Monreal Orozco. Melissa Montalongo. Kiajane Ladyman Montgomery. Kamari Yvette Moore. Ira Adolfo Morales. David Isaac Moreno. Janisa Mosley. Joshua Dijon Mosley. Elizabeth Diane Mosley Dillard. Nikayla Moss. Angel Yahir Munoz. Andrew Lee Navarra. Keyshawn Omar Malik Neal. Mariah Denise Nichols. Curtis Therese Norman.
Megan Nichelle Catherine Norman. David Morales Nunez. David Ayler Vaughn. Mallory Ellis Ogburn. Sierra Lily Olivares. Jonathan and Hel Overa. Jordan Angelo Overa. Blasa Yailene Orozco. Jackson Hayes Osborne. Gisela Janet Padilla. Jose Armando Palacios. Tavares Taquan Palmer. Zachary Pate. Wayne Barry Pearsall. Shantiera Pearson. Stefan DeMonte Peebles. Jacob Anthony Pena. Eduardo Daniel Perez. Maria Perez Martinez. Ashton Nicole Phillips. Naisha Unique Phillips. Clovis Lee Renee Pierce. Vanessa Pignon. Ramion Jaquan Liddell Pittman. Joel Ulysses Pleites Rivera. Josie Chrisman Porter. Cesar Aiden Portillo. Cashton Michael Prinka. Destiny Hope Ramirez. Eric Eduardo Ramirez. Noelia Alexis Ramirez. JC Ramirez. Jordan Taylor Rangel. Jovan Alejandro Rangel. 
Bailey Jean Redding. Tatiana Cheyenne Redrick. Justin Reveles. Angel Augustine Reyes. Ricardo Reyes. Raimundo Reyes Esparza. Javon Markel Ridge. Andrew Dasan Ridings. Candy Lynn Rivera. Stephanie Giselle Rivera. Lydia Gabrielle Robertson. Dasani Leanne Robinson. Cassandra Marie Robles. Abdias Habakuk Rodriguez. Adolfo Jaimez Rodriguez. Alejandro Rodriguez. Isaac Ismail Rodriguez. Julian Rodriguez. Casey Elizabeth Rodriguez. Natalie Renee Rodriguez. Nicholas Anthony Rodriguez. Jennifer Rojas. Sierra Dion Nicole Rugely. Janaea Janelle Rugely. Brianna Nicole Rouse. Trakesia Sequavion Sadler. Francisca Guadalupe Salazar. Alfredo Sanchez. Ashley Lisbeth Sanchez. Fernando Sanchez. Jorge Sanchez. Juan Jose Sanchez. Travion Satchel. Caroline Schulman. Jordan Deshawn Scott.
Anayi Lillian Segura. Brandon John Serrano. Everardo Servan. Blaine Severson. Garrett William Schaefer. Marlaria Malise Slaughter. Destiny Smith. Draylen Smith. Emily Lisbeth Smith. Noah Charles Smith. William Lee Smith. Sarah Snelson. Cesar Solano. Toby Ryan Southern. Alexandria Nicole Stevens. Michael Steven Stimson. Jonathan Jacob Susteta. Vicki and Elise Taylor. Alexander Quentin Thomas. Natalia Thomas. Joshua Thompson. Lorenzo Eugene Thompson. Tanquavia Sherelle Thompson. Taikisha Lachey Thompson. Taisha Deshawn Thompson. Juan Torres. Reuben James Torres. Erica Torres Solis. Carlos Orion Trejo. Jacqueline Valdez Ramirez. Miguel Angel Vallejo. Ulysses Vallejo. Leonardo Vega. 
Davina Vinces. Sergio Ventura, Jr. Mykesia Toye Buens. Melody Sarahi Villanueva. Casey Randolph Vincent. Nakivian Omaru Vincent. Diamond Marie Wade Acreage. Tony Tennille Walker. Tiadris Warren. Navion Janae Washington. Ravion Danae Washington. Andrea Nicole Watkins. Takaria Tashe Weaver. Tyreek Deshaun Webb. Adrian West Jr. Jamar Wheelis. Peter Daniel White. DeBronte Eugene Wilkerson. Michael Andrew Keith Williams. Quinn Williams. Lorenetta Rose Willie. Caitlin Nicole Wilson. Darius Keith Wright. Vonerick Dwayne Wright. Takiera Kendrea Young. Melissa Marquez Zavala. Okay, at this time, graduates, at this time, to signify 
that you have participated in the 2018 commencement exercise at Waco High School, please stand and move your tassels from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Waco High School Class of 2018. All right. I want to take this opportunity to wish all of you the best in life and give congratulations to you and your families. Now, now before the recessional, let's join in singing the Waco High School alma mater, led by seniors of the Waco High School Choir, directed by Carrie Forehand and Christian Luan. Immediately after that, graduates, okay, following the song, the staff will escort you from the front row to the stone room where you will receive your diplomas. <laughs> 